how are Thai silk made? Why do some have red eyes and some have white eyes? Is my Thai silk fertile? How can I make more Thai silk? I get these questions all the time. In fact, today I talked with three or four different people trying to figure out what a Thai silk is. And I wanted to answer that question for you, make a video because I get asked so often, all right? So, this is the basics. A Thai silk is a flower horn that comes from a very pearly pair of flower horns and some of the babies come out with fuse pearls. What that means is some of the flower horn fry, if you get, say, two red dragons that have a ton of pearls and they breed, some of the fry is gonna have such a heavy dose of pearl genes that they're going to call uh, have what we call fused pearl. That's what a Thai silk looks like. The pearls fuse and cover the whole body, right? That is a Thai silk. Thai silks originally were just the trash fish. It was the fish that the breeder didn't want and so they threw, threw away. You got this really nice masterpiece looking pair of flower horns and some come out with the pearls so heavy it covers the body. It's hideous. Throw it away. It's not what you want. But what happened is in Thailand, they realized that the American consumer really liked the Thai silk and we loved it. So they started selling it. And so that's how the Thai silk kind of became popular. A lot of breeders still do consider Thai silk kind of the trash fish. And so they're pretty cheap over in Thailand. Um, some people breed them. Red and white eyes. Well, because you now you know how a Thai silk's made, just a pearly pair, what happens is the red eyes usually means that it's crossed from a KML or a ZZ, like a red dragon flower horn. Probably red dragon's the most common. If it has a red eye, it means it's likely fertile. That's because red dragon flower horns are likely fertile, and your Thai silk, if it has red eyes, probably came from a red dragon pair. All right, so if it has white eyes, it's probably a confa. Confa are highly unlikely to be fertile, so you probably don't have a fertile fish with that white eye. Fader, fader silks or um, Woody has Snow White, he calls it. What those are is it's actually just a um, fuse pearl or a silk made from a fader pair of flower horns. So Woody's Fireman Dreams flower horns, some of the fries came out. Silks, I think he tossed the silks, but some of the silks faded. And that's where you see the Snow White ones. When a pearl fades on a fish, a fish fades with pearls, the pearls go from an iridescent bluish color to a white color. So the white silks or the snow whites are actually faded Thai silks. How do I make more Thai silks? Can I breed it? Well, people always ask, what will it make if I breed my Thai silk with my red dragon? That's a hard answer to, um, question to answer because I don't really know what your silk is made out of. It's almost impossible to tell if you don't know the breeder. So. For instance, one if it has red eyes, it may be a red dragon, maybe um, a very pearly pair. I don't know what features the red dragon had. Or maybe it's a KML. So you breed that with another red dragon, you'll probably, a uh, Thai silk red dragon with a red dragon female, you'll probably get a lot of red dragons from the deal um, and some with lots of pearls. If you breed two Thai silks together, you will get... Yes, some Thai silks, but a lot of other random fish made up from whatever genes and parents they actually came from. So it's a really hard thing. You can't just like, oh, I'm going to get all Thai silk. It doesn't quite work that way. Sure, the gene is pretty strong if you get two. And I'm sure some people even line breed and make keep the silks and the silks and the silks and the silks. And eventually it's got so much gene pearl that it mainly puts out silks. Um, I don't know of a lot of prestigious breeders in Thailand that breed silks because um, they're a lower dollar fish and it's not kind of what you want to go for specifically. Um, there are a few people out there which can make some nice ones and that's why you'll have some with a big old chest and a big old head on them. Those usually come from the PN bloodline um, red dragons which have those traits. Some have a head that's more front and a little lower, white eyes. Um, bigger tails that's usually from a confa um, pair and so silks can come from some all kinds of different things so that's what I wanted to share with you um, breeding Thai silk about the Thai silk I hope this helps this means that silks can come from all kinds of different fish it's the fuse pearl 
Um, so I hope this video helps and it's uh, useful. Like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Facebook page, Dan, your fish keeper friend. I put all my for sale posts there and all kinds of other content. Join my Red Texas group. Um, it's Red Texas Cichlids and Hybrids Buy, Sell, Trade, and Discussion. You can join there, get access to all kinds of breeders and good information. It's right in the description here on the video or below. And uh, let me know what you guys think, of course. I hope this video was helpful.